30 miles out. What? Welcome back to 30 Miles Out Kayak Vision TV. With your host, Ty Sutherland. This episode is brought to you by UB Captain South Padres OB Dealer and by the Backwater Paddle Company, maker of the new assault. And by the Fish Grip, get your best grip. And by Yak Attack, because we fish. And by Hook One. 30 Miles Out Gear is here. Check it out at 30milesout.com. Let's see if we can't find some fish. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so epic. I mean, we have got uh, mullet in the surf just everywhere. Damon made three casts. Oh, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. That whole thing's full of mullet. That's full of mullet. Oh my God, tell him, Teresa. Damon threw uh, in the surf right here called a jack and a skip jack. Oh, it's, it's on. You ready? You ready to do this? We're gonna hook up immediately. You know that, right? Yeah. It's gonna be immediate hookup. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's get it all tied. You watch the 30 miles out. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. We got a north wind canceling out the seats now. The mullet were literally everywhere. One cast, and we caught all those mullet. Look, watch the surf, you'll see them boiling. Man, this is gonna be a good day. What we got going on? Well, we're headed out to the oil rig about a mile offshore. So let's get out to the rig and let's check out what they got going on. We got plenty of live mullet. We got plenty of rattle traps. Let's see what's going on. Making a trip at daybreak to the oil rigs is always exciting. You never know what you're gonna find once you get there. Where'd you catch them on? Live mullet? Cut mullet. Dead mullet. Dead mullet. That's a, oh, whoa! <laughs> Dang. Oh well. Wait for this action to pick up, man. We should be killing them right now. What's up? Let's keep trying. That boat just caught something. What you got, girl? Oh, well, you got a little more shoulder than I thought. Yeah. What you got? Fishing live mullet on bottom. Huge this was my first time on. BTB. Really, really I was sketched out at first, but once we got out there, I settled right into it and got right to fishing. Lane stand. What's the spot? Oh, I guess it is a red. It just has, it's got a little goofy. It's got a little spotty one. Oh, you got a spot on both sides. It does look like red. It's got the stripes. Well, what are we doing? How'd you catch him? Little piece of cut mullet on bottom. Man, we thought this was gonna be an awesome day. It's, it's been kind of slow so far, but uh, we're gonna figure them out. It's gonna pick up here soon. Yeah, a little better fish. All right, now finally, got away from the mullet, cut up some ribbon fish. Yeah, you can tum tum take some steels if you want. Let's see what we got here, folks. Not real sure. Ooh. I'm telling you, watching 30 miles out, and that's a real snapper. <laughs> I went ahead and cut up the uh, ribbons. Like I've said before. Taking your leftover kingfish, ribbon fish, and dicing them up makes great bottom bait. It's really oily. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like, man. That's going to be a battle. Man, I've really got to get on my snapper game. Red snapper are heavily regulated. There's a lot of rules and regulations, and they look a lot like lane snapper, the juveniles. you got to watch it. Is it a bull shark? No, I think it is. I'm not, I'm not, I've got to do with it. Oh, yeah. Looks like a bull. He's big. It's definitely a different kind than 
the other two, I thought. Yeah. Why he caught a head? Nice. Oh, yeah, man. The fellow in the boat was Nothing using a good. balloon with live bait, and it looked like he hooked onto a nice bull shark. Meanwhile, Damon's fishing his Carolina rig and pulling up well, snapper from the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Nothing eats better than the white flaky meat of red snapper. Bam. Yep, I think they're out of season though guys. Out of season. No reason to keep them. Fishing the rigs. Here you go. This is an absolute first, I promise you. We're leaving the rig to fish the beach and there was jacks and stuff busting. We were in such a hurry to get out to the rig and all we did was pick up some out of season snapper. Saw one shark caught, didn't even really see a whole lot of stuff. We figured the action's back at the beach so that's where we're heading. Well, like I said, this is the first time we've ever left an oil rig to go fish the beach. But because all those mullet are running, we feel like the activity's happening over there. Going back to the beach with ribbon fish, seeing what's up. They ain't at the rig, let's go try the beach. Man, we just saw a huge spinner shark come out, come out of the water and hit. But um, it, 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 he hit the water before I could even get the camera on. But it sure was cool to see. He was big, man, about five, six foot. Also, oh, oh. we got dolphins, so whole pot of Sometimes the dolphins would kind of get close to us and follow us around. And sometimes they're spooky. You get too close and they just go down and pop up somewhere else. All up in them. Whole family of them, look. Hey, I ran into Nate. He watches the show. He's going to give me some ribbon fish. What's happening, man? What up? <laughs> y'all didn't, didn't run what? into anything? Just hard heads? Yeah, just some hard heads. And you're all ready, too, man. You got your bag and all. Right. I had never met Nate before. He watches the show, saw us, and came over and gave me some ribbon fish. Donate to the 30 mile out Kingfish Cause. I was catching snapper out there too. Uh... Well, good luck, guys. Thanks a lot for the ribbon. Yeah, have a good, uh, have a good trip, man. 30 miles out. What? <laughs> there you go. You never know who you're going to run into. Hey, it's Nate, right? Nate Mullen. All right. You saw it right here. Bob Paul Pier, Nate Mullen. Part of the What Nation. Donated ribbon fish to the cause. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Spanish time. Habla Espanol? No, we do. <laughs> Damien hooked up on a Spanish as soon as we got toward the beach. Yeah, I was man. excited to see that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Patrice was bummed she hung a hard head, but the action was about to heat up. Sorry? No. Look, 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 it's still in it, though. It ain't even moving and they're hitting it. Whoa! <laughs> it was so calm I busted out the top water. Man, I'm glad I did. They started going crazy on it. That is what I'm talking about. Woo, thousands of them. God, it's gotta be skipped. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> time out of time, baby. <laughs> they were hitting it, it was sitting still, man. Oh, that is bad to the bone. Oh, spinning the boat around. These skipjack, ladyfish, whatever you want to call them, are a blast to fight. They jump, they they thrash, and they readily hit topwater baits, and that's why I love them. Like jacks? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be all. We got jacks. There's jacks under them. Oh, the jacks too. Oh, they're blowing up behind you. Oh man, this is serious. They're everywhere. Woo! Oh. They're on it, they're on it, they're on it. They're on it, <laughs> they're on it. Get it, oh look at that, that is awesome. 
There's like 15 of them. <laughs> Move it faster. They want it faster. Oh, they found it. They found it. They found it. <laughs> that is so bad. Every time. Needless to say, I get a little overexcited when fish started blowing up on top. That is so cool. Yeah, Jack of Bell, Jack of Bell. Jack of Bell. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Skip Jack Acrobatics. Uh, he's, nah, he's a little guy. But uh, any jack fish. That's not that bad. Get on the hook. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, people. Top water. Damien's going to keep it for shark bait. Well, I think it's safe to say my favorite non edible species of fish is the jacker veil. They are the pit bull of the Gulf. They're ferocious and jacks are tuna fast. So, as hot as this action has been, it's about to get even hotter. So, stay tuned. This episode of 30 Miles Out is brought to you by Book One. Captain Yak Attack The Fish Grip and by the Backwater Paddle Company. I think I got a king. He hit it, let it go, it came back and smashed it. I wish y'all could have seen the explosions on this plug. They were enormous. Yeah! Or huge fanning. Big. He's a king of big, big fan. You can see we're right off the beach, not even past the end of Bob All Beer. Wow, top. Oh my god, is that a monkey? What is that? I think it's a huge fan. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, people! Right here, turn the bottom out, top water. Oh. I got 30 pound bread. It's still thin. Don't kill me, though. Big old top water plug. Look at that. Look at that. He smashed it twice. Tried to kill it. Whoa, huge Spanish dude. That's what I'm talking about. Was that awesome? Did you see those blow up? Come on, man. Open up your darn mouth. Open up the eye. Uh, yeah. That, my friend, is a Spanish Mac on top water. I thought it was a kid. He smashed it and then knocked it out the water and left it alone. Then all of a sudden, and I lost him. Then all of a sudden, boom, he blew up on it again. Man, that was bad to the bone. That's the best Spanish mackerel attack I've ever had. Spanish mac attack, I'm telling you, my 30 miles out, I was bad in the boat. Top water fishing is exciting. I don't care if it's fresh or salt, but there's something about the salt water. These fish pack up, and when you've got five, six, ten fish this size chasing one plug, smacking it around until one gets hooked, you can't help but have your heart pound out of your chest. All right, let's get him in the box. Damien hooked up. What you got, boy? got them on. Rat trap? When these fish are worked up like this, you can catch them on just about anything. I throw top water because I like the explosion. A nice one but they will hit Rapala Menace, they'll hit spoons of just about any sort, and they're definitely hit rattle traps. Are you trolling? Well, actually, I saw them. Yeah, I'm about. It's a nice one. Pretty fish, man. Got so much color to them. That hard sickle tail makes pelagic fish fast, and that's why I love targeting them. <laughs> what? Sucker. Okay. Okay. When 
Damien gets pumped up on these fish, the bad words start a fly. That's a good one right there. Good one right there, boy. Tacos. Spare mackerel off the beach. What? Man, y'all gotta see this. Look at this. Look, look, look. Can y'all see that? Look, look over there. Look, look, look. Look at me sitting still. Look. Look, look at him. That is amazing. Oh, oh he cut me off. Now he's hitting my plug. They won't stop in it. Leave it alone. When Spanish get in a frenzy, sometimes they'll cut your line stop 10 feet up. It, oh, man, leave my plug alone. Leave it alone. It's, they cut me off. Look at this. Spanish mackerel teeth are so sharp. When they get worked up in a frenzy, they slice and dice everything. And a lot of times, if you got a steel leader, they'll cut it like 10, 15 feet up the line. So I've been cut off and my plug is just floating here and they just keep smacking it till one finally gets hung. He finally got hooked. I tied on another top water plug really fast and got back to catching. Oh yeah, man. Nice ones too. Wow. Come on now, come on. Woo! <laughs> wow, that is awesome. There he is. Damien got a big one too. And these are big, dude. These are big Spanish. 15 a person. Oh, okay. 15 a day per person. This is some good eating. Over 15 inches. These are big, these are big dudes too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man, nice. Whoa, what is that, a wahoo? <laughs> I don't know what I got, man. This has got to be another big Spanish. It's killing me. All on top of <laughs> Got another one too? Yeah. Dude, another big one. Look at this, folks. Top water Spanish. You cannot beat that. Look at that. As long as they're biting, we're going to keep on catching. These guys are great eating. Oh yeah, come on! Quick gear rundown, what am I using? I'm using my All Pro Rod Atlantis Series, seven and a half feet. Medium light action, it's actually a little too light for all this. I'm using um, top water plugs, uh, a trace of single strand 42 pound wire and a swivel and a 30 pound braid and they are bending these hooks like crazy these bombers or whatever this is does not have very good hooks on it and these are strong fish what'd you get him on same thing damien was the first one to find these spanish on the beach and he's been hammering them ever since You know, spoons will work for this, swim baits will work for this, gotcha plugs will work for this. They'll hit a lot of stuff, especially if it's shiny. Oh yeah, there you go. That's a nice fish, bro. What'd you catch them on? That is a... Uh... Bomber? Yeah, it is a bomber. Like a Rapala shallow diver. You know Spanish are big when you start looking for the spear gaff. Yeah, we better spear him. Uh, oh! And that's what the hook on the backwater paddle's for. Yeah, man, these spanish are so big. We got the spear gaff out on them. This is Damien and Teresa. We've been hammering the Spanish here. We're at the Bali Park Club over here. Here, North Padre Island, Texas. What? Look, they don't call this the backwater paddle assault for no reason. Huh. All right, he go. No more. <laughs> Bam! It's a good Spanish mackerel whacker, and it's a good cut bait board too. And I just grabbed something with it, pulled it to me. Oh, oh my God! I think I was a king. Yeah, one. Guys, this action just never slowed down. 
Oh, popped off. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. They're still annihilating that top water. As long as they keep hitting it, I'll keep chunking it. Yeah, there's something following it. So much fun, people. I've never lived on the coast this time of year, right on the coast like this, and I'm just enjoying every moment of it. Get my club on it. Whoa! It could be a... <laughs> Big old skipjack. Well, it's about time to head back in, but I figured I'd do a little bit of trolling before we hit the breakers. Anytime I'm crossing an open body of water, whether it's in the gulf or in a lake, I like to troll a rattle trap or something, because you never know what's going to hit. Well, folks, it's awesome hanging out with y'all today. Appreciate y'all. Thanks a lot. I'd like to thank my sponsors and thank everybody for watching. We'll catch y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out. What? Shut this in. Come on. You ain't nothing. Two foot, two foot rolling, baby. Ready. It's super calm right now. I'm not going to bother with going in backwards. I'm going to have a little fun and see if I can surf it in. Paddle, boy, paddle. Honk if you love 30 miles out. This sounds a lot worse than what it is, but you don't want to let the waves turn you sideways. You don't want to shoot the tube. It's a good way to flip in a little water. Spanish have a real thin skin, so we leave the skin on, and when we cook them, the skin falls right off. Leave them on the half shell, except for the grill. Yeah, man. What a fun day on the water. And once again, I highly recommend fishing just beyond the third breaker for people who want to go BTB. There's a lot of great fish right there at the beach and it gets you offshore, pick a calm day and you'll have a lot of fun. Thanks again everybody for watching 30 Miles Out. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Don't film me please. Why? Because. Why? <laughs> because there are some moments <laughs> that I do not want to be filmed. We'll catch you next time. I'm tired. You've been watching 30 Miles Out. That was some... <clears throat> He blew up on it again, man. I was bad in the bottom. <laughs>